Well, let's get into it now. Let's like since yeah, I want to hear about this. That's the that's the, that's the elephant in the room. Like, let's yeah. let's be let's honest. It. It's all right. So, this is the first you, time I'm speaking publicly about it since um right. since a lot okay. of happened. Um, you want to yeah. take this one, Robbie? I don't know. You go, Vin. You go, Vin. You take. All right, man. You did an interview, right? Someone mm -hmm. came on that interview and said some. He gave his opinion. Which, whether people like it or not, he's entitled to it. Everyone's yeah. entitled to their opinion. Now, whether it's right or wrong, that's a different question. Um, you received some nasty things or well, some nasty messages about your family, which is a line you should just never fucking cross. So, whoever that was from me to you, fuck you. Um, you know, like it's just not cool. Um, um, <laughs> and as a result, you opted to take this episode down. Now I'm going to ask you a question. I said this to you sure. on the phone, like when when I spoke to you about this. Mm -hmm. I want you to follow along with my train of thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm Peter Overton or Piers Morgan or whatever, right? And I interview Saddam Hussein, right? Hypothetically, right? And he says some nasty shit. Yeah. Now Piers Morgan don't get heat for that interview because of what someone else said. What I don't understand, and I'm I'm genuinely fucking baffled at the universe is why you're copying any type of heat for this because i heard the interview and you didn't say yeah i agree man you like were like no nah, i don't agree with that or you gave your opinion and you know like i'm not gonna say like what i'm not gonna go over what tyson said or whatever because I, I don't remember it I, I to be honest with you i don't like whatever it's done it's in the past but why are you copying heat and then why would you pull your interview down because if anything if this is such a problem shouldn't we as a society fuck wrestling in the wrestling industry shouldn't we as a society be using this as a lesson like why did you pull it down man like i don't i don't get it i, I don't understand so look for a number of reasons and, and i'm going to say this the, the messages i received um were from people using fake accounts and, and mm. using fake burner accounts <clears throat> and Look, I you know this is I did I was on Australian wrestling radio the week the day after the podcast was um, the the article about the podcast got dropped um and we spoke about them but I feel like a lot more's come out from there and I haven't addressed it publicly besides a tweet um that I put out about that message and like the thing is bro like I could care less if someone threatens me or wants to talk ill of me or wants to say anything negative it is about me because bro at the end of the day i make the choice and i make the choice to put myself out on a on a podcast a video video cast or whatever the fuck it is bro i i choose to be on wrestling shows i choose all of that shit to put myself out there for public consumption sure yeah. and i I'm, I'm i'm quite aware bro and i'm quite understanding of the point that I'm going to have people that are going to really like what I do. And I'm going to have people that really don't like what I do. There's going to be people that are better than me at this game. And there's going to be people that I'm better at than them at this game that are going to have some jealousy. So like there's these factors that come into it, but the one thing that really fucking get on my nerves and I'm going to say this, bro, because it's like, I don't care. Like, if this person wanted a reaction, they fucking got one. Yeah, they, sure. they, fuck, they fucking got one, right? Because as I said, I put myself out there for all this shit. I'll take whatever bullshit that someone wants to throw at me. But the moment someone brings in my fucking children, into a fucking like for whatever reason, whether that message was related to that podcast or not. I don't, whether it's even fucking wrestling related or you just fucking scroll, this is some burner that scrolled past my profile and thought I'm going to yeah. spew some hate at this fucking person, right? Yeah. Whatever the fucking case may be, bro, like you do not fucking talk about my kids, bro. Straight the fuck out. You do not say things like that about my children, about anyone's children. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck what you have to say about or your justification of that. That is not fucking on. Okay? Okay. Yes, some things were said on a podcast that were offended some people. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely am sorry that it offended but, people. But that's but, not your fault. That's not your fault. That's not your fault. I know, but I apologize that that, that that happened. I apologize that they got offended by it. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Like, they're, they're, they're but all you know full what? Of but but stuff, you know right? what? Like if this, if this is the same from people with the same mindset that sent me these messages, like the people sent me these messages have the same mindset as these people, what's fucking worse? Mm. What's worse? Tell me that. But like the thing is, bro, that's fine. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Someone sent me that message. It's done. It's dusted, bro. But the thing was, it's like I had time to reflect. I had time to think about it. And I'm like, man, this is my fucking outlet, bro. This is my fun. This is something I'm trying to turn into a fucking business and make it a positive experience. And for the most part, bro, I'm going to say this. For that one negative fucking hateful motherfucker message that sent me that shit, bro, I've received fucking 10s, 20s, 30 tons, bro, of fucking messages from people saying, hey, man, we love what you do keep it up from fucking workers from podcasters from fucking fans and everyone in fucking between bro i've had people say hey we got your back we fucking dig what you are doing fuck yeah, these people so you know what bro some person who's a fucking pussy ass bitch who has to sit behind a fucking yeah, computer okay. behind a fake fucking account and send shit like that to me bro fuck you because you don't have the fucking mental capacity to have a conversation with me. You don't have the fucking any, even the fucking right to step foot in my fucking existence, you piece of shit. Do you think it was a worker? No, I don't think it was a worker. You thought it was a genuine fan. I think it was, I think it's someone who has probably taken a lot of what has happened after that interview and seen my name attached to it. And set and probably tried to find Tyson Gibbs online and go on. This person's probably Pierce is easier to find because let's face it, I live my entire life on the internet. Like, I ex like, you know, what I mean, like, as I said, I put myself out there for this shit. So, bro, like, I'm probably the easier one to find, and that's probably why it comes from it, bro. But, bro, so is that why day, you think you got the heat, like, majority of the heat? Because from what I saw on the internet and yeah, social media, yeah, like, I, I think. I don't know what heat you're talking about. Uh, the, the heat you're talking about is from maybe one or two or even uh -huh. three fucking people, and I can guarantee you that one of these people has no fucking clue of what they're talking about to begin with. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's the sad thing about it. So this is like one of those things where things got misconstrued and, and weren't fucking mm -hmm. talked about properly, and the wrong person said the wrong thing, and other people backed it. You know what I mean? So I looked at right. that and go, they had no fucking idea. You know, yeah. it was your fucking podcast. You didn't do anything fucking wrong. I don't no. give a fuck what anyone says. You I know, agree. You, you did not have to take jack shit down. You interview anybody. You could be, like, as he said, you can interview whoever the fuck you want. If they decide to fucking talk out a line or say what their opinion, that's on them. It's got nothing to do with you. You know, it's and like... You don't blame Channel Nine. If fucking exactly, it's, yeah. it's the same thing. You're dealing with dumb fucks, Pierce. I'm sorry, but you're dealing with dumb fucks. You know, and, and, I mean, you know some of these people that, that that have spoken to you and whatnot, and you know what? It's one of those things where it it doesn't it doesn't sit well with me because like they got no clue. They got no clue. It's like they're just blaming the wrong person. Oh, what what? Why would they blame you? You're the host of the fucking show. You haven't done anything wrong. And in fact, I think I recall that you actually were sticking, uh, going against the opinion of what Gibbs was saying. You know what I mean? But you know, they don't—they don't fail to listen to that bit. They just see a little bit yeah. of content. I, I think—I think—I think, I think, it, I think it comes down to a, a couple of fans, bro, that probably get a little bit overexcited when they yeah, see this about stuff. It. Look, I, and I'm not, but the fans or workers, like. Fans, I, I don't, I, I don't think it would be a worker, bro. Because I think, like, I would like to think that I have enough respect in the Australian scene that people would not want to fuck. Like, the, why would someone say that about my my children? You know what I mean? Like, I would like to think that I have enough respect by you know people around in this business. And I'm not saying I don't trust anybody, bro. That's just yeah, me. But. I know, bro. Maybe I'm just trying to be a little bit naive, and because I have to go and work with these people on shows. You know what I mean? Like, that's a part of it. So, like, I, if I sit there and go into it, bro, and I start being paranoid about every motherfucker, bro, 
then how am I going to be at a show, bro? Like, I'm going to literally sit there and go, who the fuck can I trust yeah, but here? Why are you, why would you it. paranoid? Like, fuck people. Like, you like me, you like me. You don't like me, get the fuck out. Who no, cares? Why do you I'm care? Saying, yeah, but and, what I'm saying, I think there's going to be a, a threat or something's going to go down, you know what I mean? Like, which I don't know. You've had other interviews on your podcast and you had people talking about more fucking raw shit. And 100%. More oh my God. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That's what worries me, though. Because what if... Off. So you've pulled this episode down. What if the next, you know, you have someone else on, someone else gets offended, you can't go pulling everything down. No. Yeah, the, the controversy is what gets you views anyway. But Yeah. Can, and, I, and, can I ask... No, sorry, go, Piers. Yeah, look, that is the thing. And look, the, the decision, like, was mine to make. No one told me to do it. Mm. No one said you need to do it. No one threatened me to not... If I didn't take it down, something was going to happen. Um, because I feel like if someone did make that threat to me, it would have been fuck you. And I would have like highlighted that shit and fucking promoted the fuck out of it, despite the people. And that's just because of who I am. I, you know me, I don't let anyone tell me what to do. But the thing sure. was, I made the decision. It was my call. Okay. And, and, and it would, there was no forcing of my hand to do it. 